Today's video can be found on page 12 in your uh, Unit 1C packet, um, and it's the problem of the day page. This is video 2. So there's a lot going on here. Let me just, and yes, I do want you to do all of these problems on the page. There's 1 through 9, but there's also these four true and false questions. Please make sure you answer the true and false questions, you know, true or false. So number one, two, and three here says find the slope or the steepness of the line. It's called slope. And slope, remember, is delta y over delta x. However, this is graph paper. So you could just do the rise over the run. And the letter that represents slope is m. So that equals m. So here I just want you to write m equals. The y-intercept is represented by the letter B, and that means where does this line cross the y-axis? So here you're going to write B equals. So I'm going to do number one for you. The slope of this line, if I read it correctly, looks like it's going up 1, 2, and over 1. So my slope is 2 over 1. My y-intercept is down here at negative 2. So our y-intercept is negative 2. Remember, it is the ordered pair 0, negative 2. You can just show me that negative 2. It intersects the y-axis at negative 2. But it is representing an ordered pair. So m equals b equals m equals b equals. So graphs, we can count the graph paper. Here, they're giving me the two points. Be very careful with subtracting negatives. So again, I do delta y over delta x. If you choose, you can do y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. That's the slope formula. You're subtracting the y, y, y values. Remember, this is x, this is y, this is x, this is y. So you're subtracting the y values over the x values. Delta y over delta x is fine, or y sub 2 minus y sub 1, that's your slope. So we're trying to find the m. Write each linear equation in slope-intercept form. Well, that's y equals mx plus b is what this represents. Solve the equation for y, and you're going to get this form. We'll talk more about the uh, slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So next Solve all the problems, all nine plus the true-false, then go on with the video. So we're in our eighth grade textbook on uh, 4-2. This is page 147 if you need to look up some more information about understanding slope-intercept form. Explore the relationship between the lines y equals mx plus y equals mx, which before in seventh grade we called it y equals kx, and y equals mx plus b. That means that this linear equation is not going through 0, 0. That's the difference between the two of them. y equals kx or y equals mx, that's a proportional relationship, and it will be a straight line through the origin. y equals mx plus b, not. The y-intercept is going to be something else. So Jim and his brother Sam, we can see this table here with the x and y values for us, walk from one end of the block to the other. The table shows their record of times in x seconds and corresponding distances in y feet. Jim starts at the curb. Sam starts four feet ahead of him. So maybe Sam's his little brother. He gets a head start. So we can see on the graph, I'm not going to read all of this. You can read this that Sam is not a proportional relationship because he's starting at 0, 4. He's got that head start. Jim is a proportional relationship because he is starting at the point 0, 0. However, they are both linear equations. The y-intercept, so I'm going to skip down to here. The y-intercept of a line is the y-coordinate of the point where the line intersects the y-axis. The y-intercept of, of Jim's graph is 0, 0, so the equation is y equals 4x plus 0, which is just y equals 4x. The y-intercept of Sam's graph is 4, so the equation is given by y equals 4x plus 4. 
The X intercept of a line is the X coordinate of the point where the line intersects the X axis. A linear equation can be written in the form Y equals MX plus B, which is called the slope intercept form. The constant M represents the slope of the line. That's the rate, the constant rate at which the line is falling or rising. Before we called it K, now we're calling it M. So the slope is the rate, uh, for instance, of in, um, in Sam and both Jim's graph, the slope is they are going four feet per second. That's the four that sits in front of their equations. Next page. Oh, what happened to that page? Oh, page 14 is missing. Well, page 14 is showing you that an equation in a line that passes through the origin, y equals mx, the equation of a line that has an intercept, there's two versions of it, positive and a negative, a positive and negative, an equation of a line that is parallel to the x-axis, y equals whatever d is, d being greater than 0, or y equals negative 2, for instance, when d is less than 0, and an equation of a line that is parallel to the y-axis is an x equals so some good reading on page 14, not in the file here. So on to page 15. Write an equation in the form y equals mx, if it goes through the origin, or y equals mx plus b, if it does not go through the origin. The solution um, of this linear equation that we see in this graph A here is the slope is, and they pick the two points, negative 3, negative 2, and positive 3, 2. And they're subtracting the y values 2 minus negative 2 over 3 minus negative 3. Watch the minus a minus here, right? So we get the slope is 4, 6, and yes, you should reduce it to 2 thirds. The line passes through the origin, so b is 0. We don't write 2 thirds x plus 0. We just say y equals 2 thirds x. In letter B here, the line passes through the point 0, 2, and 3, negative 1. So our y values are negative 1 minus 2, so they're going this way, negative 1 minus 2 y values, and 3 minus 0. So we get negative 3 over positive 3, which is negative 1. The y-intercept here is this point 0, 2. So we would put that into our equation, y equals mx, right? y equals, plug the slope in, m, put the x, plus or minus the b, and in this instance it is positive 2. So we have negative 1 times x, which is just negative x, negative x plus 2. On page 16, we're going to write the equation for a line. Watch the axes here. Number one, notice that the y-axis is counting by ones. One, two, three. But the x-axis is counting by twos. Now, I'm not going to use the slope formula, delta y over delta x. I'm going to, because it's on graph paper, I'm just going to count. But I have to be careful. So we're writing y equals mx plus b, slope intercept form. I'm going to find the slope. So the slope is up 1, but over 2. So my slope is up 1, but over 2, because my x-axis is counting by 2s. So my slope is 1 half. My y-intercept is 0, so plugging my values into the equation, y equals m, oh, m is 1 half, x plus 0. Well, we don't write plus 0. So this is the graph y equals 1 half x. Number two, looking carefully at my axes, oh, the y-axis is counting by threes now, and the x-axis is counting by ones. So using my slope-intercept form, I have to find my slope, and this is a negatively sloping line. I'm going to use this point and go down to this point, so it's going down three and over just one. So down three and over one, that's my slope. 
Now I'm going to plug that in. Oh, and my y-intercept is negative 3. So my b is negative 3. I think that's going to block the screen. So b is negative 3. I'm going to put these two values. I'm going to plug them into my slope-intercept formula. So y equals m. m is negative 3 over 1, which is just negative 3. x, and I'm not going to write plus negative 3. I'm just going to say and negative 3 or minus 3. So this is the equation y equals negative 3x minus 3. Number 3, looking at the axes, they're both counting by 1s. Ooh, I have this horizontal line. So y equals mx plus b. My slope is not going up or down at all, so it's zero over, and it keeps changing, infinitely different, so from negative five to zero would be negative five or five, from negative four to zero, so this is infinity, right, because it's got arrows on this line, which if I have zero in the numerator, I know my slope is zero. And my y-intercept is negative two. So plugging in my values, y equals my slope is 0x. Oh, that's silly. We're not going to write that. 0x just means 0. And plus, it's really negative 2. So y equals negative 2. Yes, this is the line. y equals negative 2. We have a vertical line here. Vertical line. So y equals mx plus b. So finding my slope... Oh, my delta y, so it infin infinitely keeps going, changing my y values I'm counting, but my x is not changing. No, 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 no. So my slope is undefined, and it doesn't have a y-intercept, so I can't even use this formula because it's not a function, and that's a linear function. This is the equation x equals 2. And everywhere on this line, the x value is 2. So those are our two special cases that we saw the other day with our x and y intercept work. So on to page 17. And we're in 4.3 in the textbook on page 154. You have learned that slope-intercept form of equation of a line is given by the formula y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept, and you substitute in those values. So use the slope-intercept form to identify slopes and y-intercepts. So we're given the equation y plus 2x minus 6 equals 0. Well, that's not in the y equals. So solve it for y equals. You can see they did that. And you get y equals negative 2x plus 6. So my slope is negative 2, and my y-intercept is 6. Paula notices that the ordered pair 0, 6 is a solution for this equation, y equals negative 2x plus 6. Is this ordered pair also a solution of y plus 2x minus 6 equals 0? Yes, of course it is. Is any ordered pair x, y that is a solution of y equals negative 2x plus 6 also? A solution of y plus 2x equals 6? Yes, they are, because those are equivalent equations. We used our inverse operation properties. We were using properties, so we're not changing the value of the equation. We've just moved things from the left and the right by using our properties, which maintains the value of the equation. So long explanation there. For each of these lines, state its slope and its y-intercept. Well, they have to be in y equals mx plus b form. And this equation is not, of course. So I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. And those are going to cancel, and I get 4y equals negative 5x plus 8. I'm going to divide by 4 each term. And I get y equals negative 5 fourths x plus 2. So m, my slope, equals negative 5 fourths. And b, my y-intercept, is 
positive 2. Number 2. Well, I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides because i got to get into y equals mx plus b form. Negative 3y equals negative 2x plus 7. Dividing by negative 3, I get y equals positive 2 thirds x plus 7 thirds. Oh, minus 7 thirds. Oh, 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 oh. Minus 7 thirds. So my m here is positive 2 thirds, and my b is negative 7 thirds. Can I leave it like that? Sure. You'd have to put a point at negative 2 and 1 third. Ugh, not very easy to graph that one. So the next page is, um, oh, this is in the wrong order. That was the page that I needed before. Well, we've already seen that. Wrong order. I'm going to have to order this. Next page is this page, page 18. Write an equation of a line given its slope and y-intercept. Use the given slope and y-intercept form. Ba, 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 ba. So we saw that it was negative 2x. The slope, putting it in, is negative 2. If they give you this, m is negative 2 and b is negative 5, you can write the equation. So now we're given the slope and the y-intercept. Plug it in. We're given the slope and the y-intercept. Plug them in. M is 1 fourth. B is 3. So we're going the opposite way. They're giving us slope and intercept. Put it into the equation. The page before, we were given the equation. Tell us the slope and the y-intercept. So let's go down to the practice questions. If you graph the, I want to think about this, think math. If you graph the equations in example B, which line would go upward from left to right? In A and B, in example B, oh, example A. Oh, this is example A, both of these. So which line would go upward from left to right? Well, the one that has a positive slope. So A would, A would go upward because it's got a positive slope. Which line would go downward, or which which line would go upward from left to right? What? I think they wanted to say which line would go downward. Mm, that's a oops. Which line would go downward from left to right? That's B. Which would be more steep? Well, this is only going up 1 and over 4. That's not a very a uh, big slope. It's only a fourth. This slope is two. So which one would be more steep would be B. Okay, let's go to these practice problems. Use the slope-intercept form, which is Y equals MX plus B. Put these values in. So the slope is negative two-thirds. There's no B. I bet B equals zero. That's why it's not shown here. So it just must be Y equals m, negative 2 thirds, x, plus 0. But we don't write that. Done. Number 8. y equals the slope m for x, y-intercept is negative 7. y equals 4x minus 7. And that's it for today.